the last thing I want to ask you, uh, we've seen esports rise in the video game space first with traditional PC and console. Now virtual reality is starting to get involved with esports. What do you feel mixed reality potentially could open up to that confluence of sport and video games? Uh, there's a lot. Um, I feel that, um, well, there's different layers of it. Um, if you mean esports as in, um, you know, many watch some, uh, there's a, there's various various things we can think through. Uh, esports as it exists today, and the and the uh, the games that are already you know sort of ruling, um, we can't break the, uh, the the sort of method of play, you know that that is succeeding, uh, and so it will take some time to figure out how to translate certain types of esports play to the real world and they need to be customized around the real world and abide by the context of the space that things are playing out in so like if someone devises a game that takes place in central park new york you know and it becomes the most you know amazing thing we've ever seen okay that's one matter but it's not going to be so simple to translate League of Legends as it is, right? Um, at the speed that it's played and the way that you play it, um, easily to mix reality. But that said, absolutely having a God's eye ability to be, to see things, you know what I mean? And to be volumetrically in, in, in places, right? Where remarkable play is occurring, that could be astounding, like absolutely astounding. Um, Again, mixed reality, VR will be great for that, but I think mixed reality is gonna be much more accessible for people in groups to do that because esports is a community is a community type audience. You want to be with people doing that. I think that um, crazy cool shit you could do would be like, you know, being able to analyze, just like regular sports, do uh, analysis of what has happened and what had happened uh, that is like, you know, fantastic for fans right to understand how something took place because some things happen at lightning speed some things are just hilarious some things are just social moments that are like unlike any other right there's so many so many moments and being able to put yourself in situ inside the moment in all these interesting ways and to do that in a co-presence way around from anywhere around the world I think there's a lot of applications in both mixed reality and VR um, Commentators, I think commentators could step into their analysis. You know, that would be really cool. A lot of that stuff, you know, you don't have to necessarily experience it in mixed reality form. I mean, it, it's just as interesting to see it in traditional media. So, twitch out gameplay that was captured volumetrically, but you see it in traditional media. That's really interesting. I think that, you know, People just by their nature like to live voyeur, you know, voyeuristically or, um, for example, reality TV, why is that still with us, right? It's, it's, some of it's really bad, but some of it's super addicting, right? Just the life of others, right? Um, Esports is like that. It's sort of you're living vicariously, right? And so t watching the Twitch screen is very exciting, actually. You don't have to necessarily be there. Um, and I think that virtual reality, you know, if you like uh, VR chat, you see, you look at social VR, um, it's starting to really like, you know, uh, uh, take off, right? Where, okay, I don't have a VR headset, but I can actually be there by a PC. I can sort of see what's happening on a Twitch stream, right? The audience suddenly can go from a small little niche group of super users that wind up becoming the actual subjects, right? The players, the sort of participants, they wind up becoming the, you know, the subjects and that is exciting for the right type of person and they'll do anything to get to that. But then you start going out a couple of layers and you could have audiences of millions as esports has demonstrated, right? Audiences of millions. So VR and mixed reality should take some lessons from esports, right? How you propagate to audiences of millions, but you can close down to the point where you're like, really close to being inside the game. I think mixed reality is going to give you, give the, give the super fan that ability.